I'm John and I'm a website designer and developer. I do websites and graphic design and different types of design. Um, just tech in general as well is my passion. My name is Olivia Kaczynski. I'm an interactive storyteller, a graphic designer and a web developer. I'm Matt Northam. Um, I'm a web designer and a front-end web developer. So I basically uh, create web designs or take web designs and, and just turn them into functional web pages. Basically, I'm really interested in user experience and how people, um, the journey that people go through when they go on websites and what they look at, where they go to. So um, basically how they live on the website. I love seeing the end product and bringing a whole product to a client or a person and seeing people actually using it um, and enjoying uh, something I've created. I, I quite like um, being able to create an interactive experience out of what is essentially just text, being able to add imagery, to, to add design elements and things like that, just to, to create a really immersive experience. Um, that kind of is what motivates me to be honest. Copyright to me is more about not stealing other people's work. It's as simple as that and, and making sure that my work, once it's created, is not completely passed off as somebody else's. Copyright for me means that this is basically the way of protecting your work as an artist, as someone who creates this new artwork. Copyright is great when you need to protect your work, but sometimes open source is the way forward for a project when you need people to join in and encourage people to learn from your work. I do sometimes use other people's work in my um, web design when I use icons for example for the contact or the Twitter handle so all these small icons I use but I always make sure that these are free to use commercially and personally. Sometimes some people have done way better work than you already so using a jQuery plugin for example uh, for your code or using an image sometimes it's better to use other people's work that they've let you use. When I'm creating something from scratch um, I'm quite often influenced by other people's work and then maybe bits um, I'll appropriate from other people's work but I'll always try to, to you know, put my own slant on it and, and make sure I create something original out of that, that inspiration. I'm very happy for other people to use my work even without my permission if it is specified that it is okay for them to use it commercially and personally. Um, I will specify that but I'm very happy to know that other people are using my work because obviously it shows that your work is good enough to be on somebody else's portfolio or on somebody else's website. Usually most of the work that other people might use is something that I've openly let them use uh, by releasing my code. Um, I'm sure other people might use the work I've done without me knowing. Um, I just have to accept that it's going to happen. If I hunted down all the people that use my work then I'd, I would never get any work done. I'm a little bit protective um, in the sense that I, I don't want people to steal my work completely but I, I just feel that once my work is out there, if people see it and they like elements of it and they want to use elements of that, then I'm fine with that, to be honest. The line between uh, inspiration and copying is very fine. And all, I think it all entirely depends on the case. Um, it may just sometimes be two people coming up with the same idea or maybe they actually actively copied from each other. I think it depends entirely on the case and the user in question. When you will look at the source code to inspire yourself for some kind of code, um, it has to be inspired and not copy and pasted. I think that copy and paste is definitely crossing the line. I think there's a, a thin line, to be honest, between copying and, and being inspired by a piece of work. Um, but I think to me it just, it's, it's about making sure you put your own slant on a, on a piece um, to make sure you haven't completely stolen somebody's code or design or whatever it may be. Um, and you can kind of have you know, your own original stamp on, on something. So when it comes to making a website, if I'm using uh, a piece of photography or a design element that I'm not really sure where it came from, is that my responsibility to, to follow that up and check that? Or is it the person who provided that to me? What do you think about using images, perhaps from Google search? Because um, when you need an image, you need something quickly to use it in a personal project. Um, what do you think about the copyright involved in that? Whether you should actually actively contact the owner of that image? If I was to find an icon on Google but I didn't find any copyright information on it, how, how would I be able to use it? Would I be able to use it anyway or 